Hello, 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 everyone. Have you ever wondered what your uh, eHarmony video blog would look like? Or have you, any of y'all ever done that? I would never do that. I'm not going to do none of the internet dating stuff. But if I did, though, it would go something like this. Hey, ladies. I'm 34. I have four kids. I live with my dad. And I play video games all day long. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I, I, I can't blame anyone uh, but, but me for the way my life turned out. You know, back in uh, high school, uh, we had to do a uh, project where we um, wrote a letter to ourselves in the future. And we were supposed to open it ten years later. So, I did the project and gave the uh, note to my mom to hold on so I wouldn't lose it. And ten years later, I think I did it when I was 15 or 16. So, about the time I was 25 or 26... My uh, mom gave me this letter. I had already forgotten about it. And uh, she gave me this letter, and I opened it up and read it. And I didn't think too much of it. You know, it was talking about, you know, where my life was, uh, where I thought my life should be. And I didn't really think too much of it. I mean, I guess uh, it depressed me a little bit that I wasn't further along in my life than I was. But I was thinking to myself, you know... I've still got a little bit more time to, you know, work on that. You know, I'm only 25 or 26, you know, I'm still young. So I put it away. I didn't think too much of it. But uh, now, about 10 years later, I was going through some of my stuff in storage, and I found that letter again. It hit me a lot harder this time around. You know, I'm sitting here thinking about it, and in the letter, you know, I ask myself, you know, where am I, and uh, what am I doing, uh... And back then in high school, you know, the only thing I ever wanted to do was draw. That's it. I, I was I was into art. Every day I was drawing. Every day. Now, I don't draw. I can't even remember when the last time I drew was. And I'm working in the warehouse. And I'm busting my butt. Uh, you know, working this hard manual labor job. When I could be in an office somewhere or at home drawing for some company. But uh, I'm lazy. And that's what a lot of people get. A lot of people get lazy, uh, just like me. And, um, you know, you, you, you have these dreams, you have these aspirations, and you don't follow them. You, you settle. And, and that's what I did. And that's what so many other people do is just settle. They, they settle for whatever comes along instead of going out and, and taking that extra effort. And, uh, you know... And even even if you don't go for your dream, uh, go for something close to it, you know, and then work up toward your dream. Like me, you know, I, um, you know, that's all I ever wanted to do when I was younger was be an artist, be a cartoonist. And if I didn't do cartoons, I wanted to do something with video games because, yes, I am a video gamer and I probably always will be until I can't play in no more. You know, and, and I could have been a video game programmer or, you know, doing art for video games or uh, video game design or an artist or anything. And yet I am stuck here at a warehouse loading trucks. So instead of uh, doing what I wanted to do, I'm doing here because I settled and it's, it's, you know, it's. It's not good. It's not good. And, you know, I don't even have, you know, a lot of people tell me, well, you know, you know, you, you know, you can still go back and do art. You can still go back and draw. You know, you can still go back and do this. And, and no, I can't. I can't now because I don't even have the drive to. I don't even want, it's been such a long time that I just, I've, I've lost interest in it. So what I strive to be for so long I, I don't even have the interest to do anymore because I've been settling for so long. Don't settle. Don't settle for your surroundings. Don't settle for a mediocre life. Don't just settle. Get out there and do something. Don't be like me. Get out there and live. Don't settle. Peace. We'll see you later.